and while I was away, the dogs decided there was a chipmunk in the lawnmower and they destroyed the wiring. So, here is the old wiring harness that I've already removed. And we are in the process of installing the new one. And since there's nothing out there right now on how to do that, One of the big problems we had was a couple of these wires, these are grounding lines, just got torn right out of their socket. So you can see where they're still attached back in here. Right there. Still attached to the frame to ground the engine. So getting those tucked back into one of these connectors was not going to be a thing. I don't have the skill to do that. I don't know how to do it. Um, the other problem that we had was she literally chewed through some of the wires, so like the main power line, which connects right here um, into the engine, was broken. You know, I could put some tape on it and try to put it together, but it's going to get hot, it's going to melt, it's going to be bad. So, bought a new wiring harness, and now we're putting it in. This is the back of the harness. It's undamaged. This is the part that connects to the seat. This is where the main grounds and power attaches back underneath the battery. To do this install, you don't have to put the mower up on jacks, but you are going to have to remove the battery and the battery casing. That gives you access to where you need. So these four connections are up underneath the battery. So you've got the main power, you've got a secondary power, and then uh, a ground, and I'm not sure what this white line is. But hey, it doesn't matter what they are, it matters that you plug them in where they go. They all go right there. So just take out the old ones, plug in the new ones right where they came from. This red line coming up to the left of the screen is actually what connects to the battery. You can see I've taken the black plastic that the battery sits in completely out so that the whole thing fits. And then this piece right here goes through the battery compartment and plugs up underneath the seat. That's your seat sensor. You gotta get that in or else your mower won't start. Thread that seat sensor through where the positive on the battery is and it comes up under here and just goes and plugs in up top. Getting that sensor plugged in is a little tricky. You don't have a lot of room here, but basically get your finger in underneath and push it up until it clicks in place. You can see right here there's a little tab. Once that clicks in, your sensor is good to go. Now you can see where I put the battery compartment and the battery back in. There's that seat sensor coming down, dropping through the positive hole and down where the rest of the wiring goes. I'm not going to reconnect these guys until I'm done connecting everything else. Now that little black tab hanging down on this wire right here is one of the retention clips. And this black bar Right here, there's a hole in the middle, and that clip's got to go into that. That's what keeps the wires from getting tangled up and stuck on stuff. So as you take out your old one, be looking for those, because you're going to need to pop them back in as you go. All right, I want to show you a couple of the retention clips. Again, you got to be paying attention to these as you go when you're taking out your old one. This guy goes in a hole right here on top of the frame. I'm just in front of that back wheel. There's another one There's another one back here and also goes on to the top of the frame. So we're putting in those clips as we work our cable forward, our bundle of cables. Got that one fit in on the top. Then they start going on the side. Here's the second one third one is right there and then you go past the lower deck mechanism before you put the next one in which I have not done yet you can see that it's kind of hanging loose here by that uh, by that pin so that's our next one to go to is up here at the front you can see it right there on the right side of the screen right there that's the next one that's got to get pushed in Okay, here's the front end of the harness coming out. Basically now we just got to work through and connect all of these. First we've got 
our last clip right here off the main end, which goes right here, right here. Just snap that in. Okay, you can see now I've taken a 13 millimeter socket and taken those black grounding wires that the dog broke and taken those off, put the new ones in, and then back there there's that last socket in the back underneath the gas tank that needs to be attached. So if we pull back out, you can see this is where it came up. We did our first attachment here, threaded that other one underneath, and now all that's left is to attach the power right here. And then this front last longest piece is what goes to the lamps up front. That headlamp wire didn't come with a clip like everything else, those little retaining clips, so normally I would use a zip tie, but I don't have any handy, so I just took that old grounding wire that we just took off and used that to tie that cable to the frame. And then you can see up here is where it connect to the headlamps. Meanwhile, further back, Got the power attached, 11 millimeter socket. I think we're good to go. Moment of truth. Choke open. Let's give her a go.